And what is going on everybody, I'm Sigurly Just here, and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. This is going to be a Pixel Car Racer Dream Builds video of the same car we built in the last episode. Well, not last episode of this, last Pixel Car Racer video in general. It was a Pixel Car Racer all body kits on dot 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 episode. We are building the Honda Civic Coupe EJ1-EJ2. Like I said in the last video, I don't know what the difference is between the EJ1 and the EJ2, so I put both. If it's not in the title, then I still don't know. Anyways, let's just buy the car again and start building it. So garage. Right now we're gonna we're gonna drive it stock. So before I start building it, let's just drive it stock. See what it does in the quarter mile. Cause it says it has over two hundred horsepower, I highly doubt it. So did I put half mile? Quarter mile. There we go. Oh, sorry, I dropped my phone. Sorry, I was also adjusting sound, as you saw there. Alright. Oops, my bad. I forgot to put in neutral. Or, yeah, neutral. This engine is really quiet. I think I'm gonna buy a new engine actually for this if I don't already have one for it. I'm thinking of the K series that you can buy in this in this game. I think I might have it, but I also think I might have it in the CRX. If I didn't put the RB back into it. So let me just check real quick. Alright, we're building a K20 swapped Honda Civic. Did it drop horsepower? Wait. It says 280 there. But 200. But it also doesn't count. VTEC, does it? Let me just check on the dyno real quick. You know, I'm not going to turn the volume up just because this isn't the full build. This is just the engine testing out. See if it's only 200. Because I think it's over 300, actually. In this game. Yeah, see the VTEC right there? 282, see? I wonder, when it goes down, does it also count for VTEC? Yeah. Okay, it does reverse VTEC too. Alright. I was just making sure. Now let's get to building. It's already been three minutes. So since it's a Civic and I'm kind of a Honda guy, I mean, I'm not fully, I'm not fully into like... I don't know everything about Hondas like most Honda guys do so it's still Honda it's still the Honda Civic that I've been looking for for a while you know cuz I'm trying to replace my Taurus so I'm I'm probably gonna overbuild this actually just because I wanted to rev really high I spent 1.1 million dollars on the ECU so bright bulbs black lug nuts because I always put those on. I don't think I want anything else on it. Well, other than that, of course. I'm still going to put a bunch of power mods into it. Like 150 shot of NAS. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it wingless. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it wingless. The engine I already have. Red Brembo's. The exhaust I'm going to buy... The Max Pro, Max Power Racing, sorry. Almost said Max Pro. I think I'd say that a lot. Sleeper wheels. Three inch drop. Semi slicks. Big ol' single turbo. Open intake. Pistons, I'm gonna go with the Supremes. Lip kit, uh, you know what, no, I'm not going to do full cage, I think I'm just going to go with Pride Pro, and I think I'm going to keep the paint stock, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the paint stock, so black lugs, come on, there we go, bulbs, 
bought no wing for it or a spoiler I meant sorry pride pro and then the lip kit this actually what is what does it look like red Ooh, that actually looks really good red I don't know I'll finish the build and see what it looks like afterwards for now I'm just gonna keep the red You know, I'm going to experiment with a couple colors after this. So, just putting on everything, like the semi slicks, just to get a little bit more grip. The brakes. Open intake. The pistons. The overpriced ECU. What does it rev up to? 10,700 RPM. So... Sorry for the sneezes in the background. I don't know who's doing that. Probably a neighbor or something. 6,500 RP. Okay, 6,400 lock. Uh, launch control. I didn't buy an intercooler. I feel like I do that a lot. Maybe. I don't know. If you watch enough of my videos, you can tell me. So. Whoops, my bad. I pressed the wrong thing. Type R. You know what? Let's just go VX Gold. Just for the horsepower gains. Alright, now give me one second, I'll go buy a bunch of paints. Alright, so for paint colors, here is blue. Then you have purple, which looks really nice. Gunmetal, which I really like. The mint actually looks really, really good. And then you got the red and the azure blue. And the yellow. I can't choose a color. I really can't. Um, that white looks really nice. So does the yellow. So does the red. The blue looks really good. And the purple looks really nice. Uh, that blue does look real good. I can't choose a color because this car makes mint red. Gunmetal. It makes it all look real good. That's not so much. I, I guess I like it, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. If it had, like, all white headlights, like, the clear headlights that they have in Japan... Then maybe I'd choose the gunmetal. The purple is a little too dark for me. I'm, I'm trying to find all the bad parts, I, all the bad things I don't like about each color just so I can choose. The mint's a little too bright for me. The red. That one's more of... That's too much of a baby blue. The yellow I overplay too much. The white is just... I don't know. If I was running this car, if I was driving this car, I probably wouldn't choose white if I could choose any color. Just because it'd be a pain in the AWS to keep up with paint. So either red or blue. I'm going to go with red. Red Civic. No, I'm definitely going with white. White it is. So anyways, let's get to let's get to racing. Drag, free run. Let's go. Somewhere in Japan. I didn't even show you what horsepower was, so I'm gonna show you quarter mile before I show you horsepower. Let's see what this little front wheel drive can do. By the way, this thing revs up to over 10,000 horsepower. That th that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Ooh, hey. When I go show you horsepower, I can also open a crate for you. I don't think I have another one. No, I don't have another one. Street style. Let's see what that looks like. Not my, not my taste, no. 
Alright, so, anyways, it says right here that I'm making 1,352 horsepower. Let's see what it really makes. You know, with VTEC and the big old turbo. VTEC go boah. It's making 17.30, so let me just do some quick math real quick. Just with VTEC and the turbo alone, it made 378 more than the computer actually thought. So this is making, what... 1730, what does a CRX make? Let me just check real quick. Alright, this one's making 2219. I thought it was a lot closer to 1730 than it really is. So I do apologize. But this is an RB26 RB26 powered CRX. If you don't follow the rest of my videos. So anyways, go check that out. Which by the way, I should put the body kit back on this. I've had this car since uh, since the first episode, so my first episode of Pixar Car Racer, and just Pixar Car Racer regular, uh, just out of those episodes, I've already done 45, actually, well, let's take this to the street, I've done 45 of those, not counting the sub-series that I've done, let's take this to Japan Day, let's go, was it the Toge or Street, I don't remember, I was just clicking, Oh, give me a second. The neighbor is using the restroom. I can hear by the door, so I know the drain's gonna start going off, so give me a second. But anyways, the way my the way my apartment is laid out is that the like septic pipe follows all the way through my wall and then down. But when it where it goes down the corner is directly in front of me. Because I'm facing a wall. Right now, I'm in my closet, I'm facing a wall. So, it goes directly in front of me, and then down. I know this because I can hear it going down. By the way, if you don't know, you have to go under- you have to go to the next lane if you see a exclamation mark in front of you. And then you can't let the crown go behind you, because then they'll get some kind of weird draft, no matter how far they are behind you. And it doesn't seem like we're getting a, getting an update anytime soon, so that's not going to be fixed. Anyways, what was my high speed? 98% life, but I hit 266 miles per hour. That's crazy. I'm going to go do a burnout and two-step real quick on the street. I did not mean to press garage. I'm going to show you how to do a burnout and two-step if you don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to do it in general, so you can watch that. If you do know how to do it, I'm going to do it in Japan. Why not? Day. Let's go. Ow. That hurt. I dropped my phone right on my hand so this heavy brick of a phone dropping on my hand so my hand squeezed between that and uh the table oops my bad i did not mean to run into you bro anyways like i said if you don't know how to do a burnout put it to first gear hit the clutch which is the farthest pedal hit the gas that's how you do two step right there you just run it like that and then do a burnout, let go of the clutch, let it spin, hit the brakes, and there you go.
You're doing a burnout. You can either do a burnout until you let go of the gas, let go of the brake, or until your engine explodes. I'm not going to do it, but you can see there's like overheating thing at the bottom right there. I want to see how far I can, uh, how fast I can go real quick. Just before I like run into a police officer or something. I'm not going to change lanes, so if I get, if I get cops on me, they're going to be behind me. And then next time I go around, I'm gonna run right into it. Never mind. I blew up my engine. Oh no, I can still I can still speed off, but I'm not going to because the video needs to end. So anyway, let's just go to the garage real quick, and I'll end the video there. Come on, there we go. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comments section why you liked or disliked the video. Talk to me down in the comments section. I love giving replies and thumbs up and hearts to positive, supportive, and all around good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's that's not nice. And I'm all about spreading positivity. If you want more positive content, uh, I put a lot of pick me ups and just positive sayings and stuff like that on my Twitter, which is down in the description. Above that in the Twitter, uh, in the Twitter. Above that in the description is my two Instagram accounts. Number one is my main. So if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel or both, go follow that. If you want car, truck, soon motorcycle, uh, motorcycle, motorcycle content, both in real life and video game, Hot Wheels, Lego, etc. Go follow uh, second Instagram account. You'll find something there you like, and hopefully you like a lot of it. And hit that follow button. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but now is the time, so that's what you're going to need the bell icon for. Um, yeah, I hope you like the video, and thanks for watching.